Coco Kitchen. Today's special guest is Monique, good friend of my daughter Lakshmi, who's with us again today. Hello. <laughs> and um, Monique, I heard you're not really a dessert fan, but Lakshmi has got you hooked on something. Yes, that's true. So I've never been a dessert person. My whole family, we eat and, and that's it. You know, we have dinner and we don't eat dessert. And so Lakshmi and I went for uh, lunch somewhere and she said, oh, you know, I love dessert, we've got to get dessert. And I said, oh, I'm not a dessert person. <laughs> so she said, just give it a go. So she ordered a tiramisu and um, I've been hooked ever since. Now I've got to have dessert with every meal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, dessert's the best, as we all agree, don't we? Yes. Oh, yes. So today I'll show you how to make a vegan version of so you so, can enjoy that whenever you like without all the um, bad effects that you can get with dairy, which Lakshmi knows and she might like to explain. Okay, so as some of you may know, tiramisu is my favourite dessert. I order it at every restaurant we go to. I try all the different ones that are available <laughs> in all their awesomeness. And one big downfall that I found um, just consuming dairy is I suffered from pretty severe acne um, for a lot of my life and I used to get quite bloated and puffy in the face and just being on this journey becoming vegetarian and then eventually transitioning to being vegan I noticed some significant differences in my physical body once I cut dairy out and um, so basically my face started going down and the swelling, the puffiness, bloating, it all went down and I just felt like I could breathe a lot better and my face has completely cleared up yeah. and <laughs> <laughs> the, the saddest part for me is giving up my beloved tiramisu because I love tiramisu but I don't love the pimples on my face that come with that. So, so the good news is now you can enjoy tiramisu. Yeah. <laughs> going to replace the cheese in the tiramisu. Oh, okay. Yeah, so oh, wow. it might be Can enough. I come on? Yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if you've seen cashews juice as cheese before. I've never seen it. This is the first time I'm hearing it. Oh, this, wow. So. Well, this will open your eyes. <laughs> so what you do, you just cover the cashews in boiling water because they have to soak for a while because that softens them mm -hmm. and then they will blend easily. So if you just get the boiling water and just pour it over the okay. cashew bowl, yeah. the bowl <laughs> Right. Yeah, just cover them with the water. Okay. All the way up. Yeah. Yeah. That's enough. Yep. Okay. So Great. you cover those. Our next step is I have a quarter cup of dark chocolate. This chocolate is 70% cocoa. Mm. So it's high in cocoa, low in sugar. Good news for diabetics. <laughs> and it's also vegan. You've got to check labels with chocolate to make sure there's no dairy in it. Dark chocolate's a good bet for no dairy. Okay. But you always have to check. So you just put the dark chocolate into the cup and then add half a tablespoon of coffee powder. Yes. Whatever coffee you prefer, but a strong coffee obviously is better for this. Yeah. So now I just um, put the boiling water halfway up. So we've got half a cup of boiling water okay. into there. Yeah. So just half. Yeah, let's make it half. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So just um, leave that to melt. And luxury, we'll need another cup of coffee to soak our sponge. So we'll put another cup into here. Just one yeah, that's good. One tablespoon Ooh. of coffee and just um, fill it up with the boiling water. Mm -hmm. So it makes about a cup of coffee. Just one glass. Yeah, that's it. That'll do. So now um, just give them a stir. You can stir yours as <laughs> well. Next step is the sponge. 
So, <laughs> instead of regular flour, which isn't very good for you, it's not very nutritious and it can mess with your skin and your stomach, I'm going to be using spelt flour, which is a little bit healthier than regular flour. And I'm also going to use almonds, which I forgot to get. I'll be using almonds ground okay. up as part of the flour element. And almonds, like all nuts, are very nutritious. They're very low in carbohydrate, very good if you have diabetes or any health problems. Very healthy fats in those. So, first we need half a cup of the almonds. Okay. And, and then it just goes into the blender. Yeah, right. Water them. Oh, good. <laughs> You're tasting everything. Well, that's good. You've got to taste it. Okay. So, um, I'll just blend these until they become a bit finer. Hold on. We need um, one cup of this. Yep. So, if you grab a cup. <laughs> Next we have coconut sugar. This replaces normal um, white refined sugar. This is less processed. It's got a lot more nutrients and minerals in it. And that, have you used coconut sugar? No, I haven't. Could you use brown sugar? As you well can as you use, to? but this is obviously healthier. Okay. Mm. And it, also the other good thing is low GI. So if you have diabetes or problem with blood sugar, this keeps it steady, it won't make it rise. Right. A quarter cup. Okay. Get this quarter cup of that. So next we put in half a teaspoon each of bicarb soda and baking powder, which will help it to rise. actually works with the bicarb soda to help it rise. So we'll put one tablespoon. And if you don't have that, you could just use lemon juice. But this one's actually, it's very good for your health. Mm. And if you have a cold or anything, it really helps clear the throat. No. Mm. Yeah. Okay. A teaspoon of vanilla. There we 
heat of it in the tin now, it just needs to go in an oven at 180 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so now we're up to the coffee chocolate layer, which is the cheese layer in the traditional Pearl Sioux. So I'm just going to drain the water out of these cashews now. I might just drain them quickly. This um, chocolate coffee that you made earlier, mm -hmm. Monique, yeah. you can put. So now we need two teaspoons of our vanilla. But it's not traditional sugar, as we've seen before. Um, we're going to use organic coconut syrup. Lucky if you want to grab that. That's an, a, a syrup made from the coconut. So we're we'll putting um, half a tablespoon. So while you're there, we can grab some molasses. Yeah. So we have here organic black strap molasses. It's also um, a sugar, it's very rawest steak. So it's full of minerals, vitamins, it's very good for you. So we'll put in the same amount of that. Maple syrup, which is sweeter again and much lighter in flavour. And we'll put a tablespoon of this in. Cacao powder. This is, um, it's like cocoa powder, but in a less refined state. So it retains more vitamins and minerals. So it's actually worth using cacao rather than cocoa. Okay. It looks decent. It looks decent. I'm going to try this one again. <laughs> Oh, that's quite bitter. That's not bitter. Yeah. Mm. Okay. It's actually <laughs> kind of like coffee powder, yeah. but without the it is very yeah bitterness. Yeah. <laughs> so now we just got to blend that till it becomes smooth. I think it's it. turn to blend. blend. All right. Yep. So just yeah, and just twist it round. You might have to. <laughs> so it can chill a little. <laughs> well, I've got the um, uh, chocolate, which I've explained is 70% cocoa. So I'm just going to shave some chocolate, which shave. goes in the layers and on the top. <laughs> so the easiest way to shave the chocolate is to use a vegetable peeler. is the cream layer and so instead of normal cream we're using coconut cream which is delicious <laughs> so I've had this um, chilling in the freezer for like a whole day and a night about 24 hours because we need to use just the hard part from the top and I also put this in the freezer to get cold <coughs> so stay from the can now you can see how the hard parts on top yeah. of the water is underneath. Okay. Yeah. So we just scoop out the hard layer to beat the cream. Beat this on a high speed. So just a high speed on the mixer. This mixer is a bit hard. Yeah. So, we've got a nice 
plus sugar. Now, first thing is a sponge, and it's a bit thick, so just slice it in half. So what we have to do is just cut a piece of the cake to put in the bottom of the glass. Like a circle? Yeah, it doesn't have to be too precise, but you know, just as best as you cut can. Away. Oh, okay. Yeah, just like cut it like, around, you can put it in the bottom. Yeah. We're going to use that coffee that we made earlier. Mm. So you just get the tablespoon and you can just put like one to two tablespoons onto the cake which will make it moist and give it the coffee paste. Right, next we'll put the um, coffee chocolate layer. Let's put a layer of the cream in. You can sprinkle some <gasps> chocolate. chocolate on. Yes, okay. Can do Yay. And then we repeat. Yeah, then you oh, repeat. We'll just do the same thing. Yeah, with the cake again. Okay. Yeah. Cheers! We have the finished yeah. product. Tasting time! <laughs> Alright! Tell everyone how a vegan tiramisu oh, tastes. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, that does look nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, that's amazing. Is it? Mm. This is better than the restaurant. Is it really? Mm. It's really good. Oh wow. Mm. I can taste all the flavours. Oh good, yeah. Mm. And no dairy. No dairy, so no better. problems with your skin or your stomach mm. or anything. Mm. <laughs> so something you can treat mm. yourself to a bit more. Most definitely. Yeah. Mm. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.